So, good morning and welcome back. Uh, we'll start by looking at the US dollar index when we're going to discuss the commodities and the precious metals market. And as you can see, we continue our depreciation of the US dollar index. The daily chart for the US, US dollar index looks very bearish, so we may go lower. However, there are some good signs, especially in the in the four hour chart, it looks like we are basically running in support around 92.49. So this was previous, um, previous support, we can go all the way back here, several times here, and here and so on. So this may well be as far as the US dollar index goes, you can also see that the CCI is turning around, the stochastic is turning around. Uh, and we are fairly low on the RSI. So we may have another run up towards the 50 moving average on the four hour chart. And if that breaks, then we'll go to the 200 moving average. Um, the same goes for the one hour chart on the US dollar index. It's looking much more promising. So we'll most likely um, rally from here up towards the 50 moving average. And that means that uh, we we'll, most of the commodities that have uh, been um, appreciating for example, they're basically increasing in value like uh, uh, oil, copper, and um, and gold, and so on. They will start um, decreasing most likely uh, when this starts to appreciate and moves towards the 50 moving average again. So, it may not happen right now today, but uh, within the next day or two, then this will basically start to turn around. If you look at the four-hour chart and one-hour chart, then then that is most likely what is going to happen. So if you look at oil, so oil has started rallying in the one daily chart. It looks looks promising that we basically rally from here, but I don't think that is going to be the case. I think that we are these rallies are basically selling opportunities. So the first sign of weakness basically in this market, uh, we uh, it's basically possible to basically short this. So. If you look at where we are here, I don't think that that oil will go further than this, around uh, 30, 31 dollars, uh, 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 which was previous, uh, which has been massive resistance in the past as well. So if you look at the four hour chart, we can see that when we get to this area here, um, there will most likely be massive amount of resistance. And that is basically our shorting, shorting uh, opportunity. We can also see that the technical indicators for in the four hour chart are also turning around. The CCI is turning around, the stochastic is turning around, and so is the RSI. And also the MACD is basically negative. It is even more, if you look at the one hour chart, we can see that we are running into uh, resistance here at the 50 moving average and we'll mostly turn around here. So around $31, that will be resistant and I'll pop, probably make a, a short in this because in the one hour chart, it also looks very promising for, for a sell. The CCI is turning completely around, the same goes to the RSI, the same goes to the stochastic and the MACD. So um, this is a very promising sign for this market to basically turn around and go start decreasing again. So the plan here is to enter around this area here. If we get close to that, that will basically be the base uh, 31.18, 41.20 or something like that. That will be um, the entry point for a short with a stop loss uh, around here and take profit. First of all, around here, 39 and a half and after that, 37.0. So if you look at natural gas, natural gas has, uh, we need to look at daily chart. Yes, it has been decreasing. It gapped down this morning. Um, fairly uh, surprising that it gapped down, but it did gap down quite a lot. At the moment on the daily chart, uh, the technical indicators are very negative at this point. We need the CCIs to basically turn around. Same goes with stochastic, um, to for in order to enter this market. But if you look at the four-hour chart, it looks like this market is about to turn around. But 
it is not a market that you should enter at this point. Um, we could fall towards these lower levels at 2.9 or 2.89 or so on, because there is room to the downside. And also when we gap down like this, it is um, it is not a very good sign. If you look at a one hour chart for the, uh, the, um, the natural gas market, it is it is looking better, but it is still fairly flat. So we could basically stick around here for some as a while and probably go a little bit lower. Uh, there is a little bit room to the downside even in the in the one hour chart. So um, we need a clear signal that this market is going to go low, go higher. Crossing of the of the MACD on the four hour chart is probably what we are going to look for. And at the moment, we are not even close to to being there. So if you look at copper, so. I've added copper again because it did this uh, ridiculous move in the, in the Asian session. It broke the previous uh, highs again and went all the way up to 3.26. And uh, here's where I basically started shorting or I made a signal that I'm going to short this. Because usually what happens when you get this massive rally to the upside is that you get a gradual decline all the way back towards the 50 moving average. And that is also, also what I'm expecting at the moment. And the reason for that is because if you look at the one hour chart, this is massively overbought at this point. All these technical indicators are looking very negative uh, as well. Uh, it's just a matter of time before the MACD basically crosses the signal line. Uh, the CCI is basically heading straight down and we are significantly overbought. And when we get overbought in this area here, we can see the last time we're here, that happens. So a fallback towards the 50 moving average on daily chart is basically the optimum for, for this trade. Uh, probably get out earlier. I'll make a signal for that. We probably, when we hit these previous highs, uh, then it's time to leave this market. Um, we will see the CCI start turning around, very something similar to this. And we're also almost overbought as well on the daily chart. So this is something I will hold for a few hours, probably... Um, probably a day or two maybe so if you look at pallium i think i pronounced this right so this when you look at it looks promising but i'm i'm not convinced that we are about to turn around in this market if you look at this trend line here then we could fall significantly lower uh, in this market the technical indicators for for the daily chart are they're okay but they're not fantastic if you look at the four hour chart, then they are a little bit more promising. But my problem with this market is that we have been testing this 200 moving average several times on the four hour chart, and we have been rejected every single time. And usually when, when you get rejected this often, you fall further. And that is what I'm expecting is going to happen here. Even though we have a fairly good indication that we're gonna go higher, the rejection of this probably the eighth time we have been rejected here is not a very good sign. So on a one, one hour chart as well, the problem here is the 50 moving average. And it is looking on the one hour chart as we are going to get rejected once again at the four hour chart because these indicators are looking very negative. So we'll probably go lower before we go higher. And that means that we'll retest in this trend line again and the last time we did that we tested it three times before we broke to the upside so this is probably a trade that won't happen for a few days so if you look at gold we can see that we no, the, the daily chart again we can see that we have rallied and this is most likely due to the uh, depreciation of the us dollar index and at this point, we are, have been rejected again at the 50 moving average. And if the US dollar index starts to appreciate, which it looks like it's going to do within a few hours or probably a day or two, then this market is going to go lower. And it will most likely go and test the $1,850 range again. Um, I have no interest in basically entering this market. I'm looking for a drop towards the 50 moving, uh, uh, 1800 level in order to enter this market. Um, buying here has been very tricky because of the 50 moving average and also the resistant 
resistant just above the 50 minimum moving average. So I'm looking for a drop further down in order to enter this market. The same goes for the silver market. We have rallied above the 50 moving average, but we have done this before. Last time we did it, we broke down several percent, four or five percent. So if you look at the technical indicators, they are fairly bullish, but as this will most likely follow the, 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 um, the gold market as well. So they, they, they tend to trade in the same pattern. Um, so if the US dollar index starts to appreciate again, you will see this fall and it will fall towards around $23. And what we're looking for is basically a fall much lower than that. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements, you can see it here. We'll find resistance right here at the 23, but the target is here, 20, $21 at the 50, 50% uh, 50 Fibonacci retracement. That is basically the target to enter this market for uh, for the best trade possible. Uh, therefore, I'm just waiting. I've been waiting for a very long time in this market as well. So if we look at Kakoa. So we have rallied yet again. And at this point, it looks like we're going to do another uh, test at the, at the 200 moving average around uh, 2.4. Um, that will probably be a, a, a possible um, entry for a short and target would be around here 2.2 and, and even better 2.0. We are in the highest of 2.7, lows of 2.2 and at the moment we are basically in the mid-range but the 50 moving average, no, the 200 moving average and the 50 have proven to be significant resistance. So a pullback from the uh, a rally up towards the 200 or the 50 and the pullback is basically a shorting possibility if you if you like to enter that market. So if you look at sugar, we can see that sugar has rallied yet again, but we have run into resistance at these highs again. And at this point, we are waiting for a pullback towards the 50 moving average or even lower than that in order to enter this market. Technical indicators for sugar are fairly bullish at this point. We can look at the four-hour chart. They are uh, they are not looking as bullish. They are basically showing that we are going to go lower. But still, we need to break significantly lower from here in order to, to enter this market. It is just too risky to enter a buy here because it can fall and uh, to enter a short we could actually rally as well, but it's not very likely, but we could. Um, we have tested this area through four or five times now. So yes, but best trade, fall back towards the 50 and then enter and, and have a little bit of turnaround. So like this, and then enter for a buy. And that is basically the target, this highs again, and even these very highs here. So if you look at wheat, Wheat has, I was expecting this to be a buy for the day, but as we basically got rejected again here, so this was the, the candle for Friday, this is the candle for uh, today in the Asian session, and we've fallen again towards the 50, the 50 moving average. And that was not what I was expecting. I was expecting a green candlestick here, which would have a signal that we could basically enter this market. And most of these indicators are also showing that we are supposed to go higher. CCI is turning around, so is the stochastic, but still it's the MACD that is not turning around and is not even slightly turning around. If you look at the four hour chart, we can see that we ran into support around here, 580, and then we have been rejected again at the 200 moving average. And these indicators for the uh, four hour chart are not looking very promising. Uh, not at all. Um, even though we break the uh, 200 moving average, we have the 50 above here, and we need to break that in order to go significantly higher. So it may well take a few hours. Um, it probably also takes uh, one day or two in order... No, that's not what, what I was supposed to. It probably take a day or two in order for this market to go higher from here. So we have 
pierce the trend line, we are basically testing the 50 moving week average. And when we see this starting to turn around, and so the RSI, and also the stochastic to turn around even more, then there's a, pro there's a trade to be made. Target would be around 610 and then around 637. So, yes, it's just a little bit of weight. So, we have lastly caught him. Almost forgot this. So, this is also a possible trade, and this is looking far better than, than uh, weed and sugar because. We ran into resistance here. We have a fair, we have a green candle, but it's not looking very impressive. We have technical indicators, for example, the CCI turning around, but not the other ones. So if you look at the four hour chart, this is starting to look more promising. When we break um, above the 200 moving week average, head towards the 50, we technically need to break the 50 and trend above that in order to have a clear signal that we are going to go higher. At the moment, we are struggling at uh, 200, around uh, six, uh, 0.68, and we will most likely also struggle to go above the, the 50. So keep that in mind, we basically need to break these both moving averages in order to, to, to signal that we are going to go higher in this market. So yes. Um, there are a few other trades. Uh, probably the mo most uh, promising trades for the day are the indices and mostly also the stocks. So the indices are very overstretched at this point. Both the, the S and P, the Dow Jones, and not the Nasdaq, but the S and P and the, and the, and the Dow Jones and some of the European indices as well. So most likely will be stocks and indices that will be traded today. So good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.